This power supply has very bad EMC and EMI results. And here are some tips how you can improve this board. So the first fix is they are using a hundred microfarads uh, capacitance. So I'm just going to increase that capacitance to a 330 microfarads and just to see the impact on the uh, EMI, EMC noise spectrum. So in this case, I replaced the original one. I put a 330 microfarads on the input. And here's the result. As you can see, the green trace is the previous scan. Mm -hmm. And the uh, purple one is uh, the, the one with the 330 microfarads capacitance. You can see there's a 10 dB reduction from the low frequency range, you know, from 150 kilohertz up to about 10 megahertz. Mm -hmm. mm. So really the capacitance helps on the low frequency range. Now let's try another one. Let's try another one. Yeah. I think this is interesting. How about we put two, two 330 microfarads in, in the front. So now in this case, I just removed the other connector and I put uh, another 330 microfarads. So effectively, we now have 660 microfarads and results. Okay. In this case, the top trace is the, the first scan with no fix. The second trace is with one 330 microfarad capacitor. And with two, Again, you bring down another 10 dB, mm -hmm. almost another 10 dB. And it's also effective against it, to about this level. Yeah, high frequency. Well, actually, you can see here, five, high frequency, in terms of high frequency performance, it's also improved by about 10 dB. Ah, really? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So the first one actually didn't improve the high frequency performance. Can we go back, Can we go back yeah. to the other one? Yeah. Ah, that's big difference. Yes. So the first one, if you look at on the from say uh, 30 megahertz to 120 megahertz, there's no visible improvement. So you can see this point is about 60. Yeah. And um, this one, you can see with two 330. Uh, the microfarad cap capacitor, it helps on the uh, high frequency range. Mm -hmm. Is it because we use two capacitors or if we would use one 660 microfarad, we would see same result? It seems like you can read my mind <laughs> now. Okay. Before before that, let's let's do more tests. Okay. <laughs> we, me we mentioned before that uh, reduce the loop area will help. So in this case, now, I'm moving, I'm moving this, this, this newly added 330 microfarad capacitor a little bit closer, you know? So I, I basically scrapped, uh, scraped the, uh, uh, copper area here and copper area he uh, here, and I soldered this one closer. Okay. And let's have a look. Let's have a look. Aha. Uh -huh. So in this case, the green trace is the previous result mm -hmm. to 330 microfarad capacitor. The new trace is with one 330 micro capacitor, but moved closer to the switch. But isn't there also another one? If you go up, then you still have their two capacitors, no? There is also... No, no I just moved this one to this one. So okay, so two... there are still mm. two 330, just one is yes. closer. Yes. Okay. And you and you can see that from low frequency range, you barely see any difference. Mm -hmm. But on a high frequency range, look, you achieve about 10 dB reduction. Because we change impedance. Because we change the impedance. That's from the circuit uh, point of view. And, but and we, we also make the loop smaller. Smaller. Yes. Yes. Uh, now. Your question, how about one 680 microfarad capacitor? 
So let's have a look. Now we, in this case, I removed two 330 microfarad capacitor now, yeah? and I put a 680 microfarad capacitor. So, you know, if you think about it, two 330, you in parallel, that gives you 660. And now I have 680. Surely I would expect a better performance, isn't it? 680 microfarad. And let's have a look what happened. Uh -huh. So again, this is the previous scan, which is two times 330 microfarads. But look at the 16080 microfarads. The performance actually is getting worse. It's getting worse. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look. Why? Why is that? Is that the case? So why 230 beats 16080 microfarads? If we're using circuit view, which is what we taught, we were taught in school, you know, uh, everything, we would treat every circuit unit as a capacitor, an inductor, a resistor. Then we can also explain because we say, oh, look, uh, two 330 microfarad capacitor, you will have two inductors in parallel, which is the ESL. The ESR will be in parallel. So overall, you reduce the ESL and you reduce the ESR. Effectively, you reduce the impedance in the loop. So your performance is better, which is the easy, simple way of understanding it. OK, so what's a uh, fix file? OK, so we just experimented with you know, increasing input capacitance value. And we would compare two 330 microfarads against one 680 microfarads. Um, but, you know, the performance still not good. You know, we, we still, um, we're still all over the limit, right? So the next step is, is to explore a, a filter. So in this case, I'm building a LC filter because an LC filter is a low pass filter. It's very effective in terms of filtering the differential mode noise as we just uh, uh, discussed. So in this case, this in this case, I removed uh, one of the 330 microfarad added. So I still use 330 microfarad capacitor. And then I have- uh, The one which uh, is close to the transistor? Yes, the one okay. is close. Yeah, so I removed that one and and I put an LC filter in the front. So the LC filter I put in the front has this value. And I have a simulation. So I run the simulation and I can see the attenuation from 20K to about 20 megahertz is quite significant attenuation, more than 60 dB. So I know that this uh, filter is good for the noise we're looking at. So that's the filter configuration. And then we test it. And this is the result. This wow. is the, yes, yes. So you can see now, finally, we have limits actually below the limit. Oh, sorry, we have the results, which is below the limit line now. Yeah, so they are all now below the limit line. However, from 30 megahertz onwards, it's still failing. 